let's go beyond the knots. Let's go further and deeper and discover more about the creator of Knotted Locks, Melissa Blake. For all of you researching my work who's listening to this post, when my clients choose me, they choose me because of me. I hope this makes sense. So I'm not stuck, I'm not stagnant. I'm always moving. And people who are, like to be stagnant and like one thing and like rigidity and, and don't like change will be repelled by the way I do things. The only people who will get what I do and be drawn to me are those people who are ready for a transition, a transformation. Those people who do not like their past stagnant behaviors and has seen the cost of it and they just want to evolve and grow and whatever's going to happen is going to happen que sera sera right it's about relationship it's about seeing that i'm doing something that would make a difference to you and how you live with your small size locks the detailing you will be in danger of being getting stuck not headlocks is a name that happened organically naturally and when you have a consultation i explain you to you the journey of how knotted locks the name existed uh, came to existence but the variations and the diverse ways and the dynamic ways that my hand moved to knot my hair and my client's hair it's more than just knotting and that is always going to change and adapt depending on the texture hair that I'm touching, depending on changes that are happening temporarily or permanently, I adapt my hand. And so when I'm asked exactly what I do, I'm like, you're getting confused. If I describe this to you today, it's changing tomorrow. It's changing the next day and the next day and the next day. So when you're researching me and you're thinking about me, I think you need to understand the way I do things and the ultimate goal is for me to introduce you to sustainable maximum fullness how I do that depends on what's going on with you and your hair and the lifestyle you want to live so I know it can be confusing but don't get stuck stuck on exactly the methodology of how I do what I'm doing and understand the logic behind what I'm doing. And because there is a logic there and a goal there, I have to adapt and change the way I teach, what I tell you, what I show you about your hair when I'm looking at you and seeing how your brain works and how those neurons are connecting as, you're, as you are learning to knot your hair. I give you additional information, I tweak it to adapt to you so that when we end our session, you are super comfortable with how you've learned Melissa's version of knotting. That varies from client to client to client. It's exactly the same way as how I knot. If you see me knotting one client or you see me what, knotting one area of someone's head, it doesn't mean I'm knotting the other area in the same way. There's so many variations to the knotting process. And what I've noticed is six years down the line of practicing knotted locks on my head and now like five years or something like that with clients' heads or even six years um, and four years of teaching knotted locks what I've realized is the way I used to knot is evolving and changing. And that's what I want to introduce you to in the safety of your home, privately on a one-on-one. -on -one. My job is not to convince you that I'm what you need to help you gain fuller locks long-term, a healing head long-term. Your job is to research me. I put these posts out on all the different social media platforms and what you do your job is to sit listen watch and wait wait and then eventually don't rush it and then eventually if you know i am the right person then you're not asking me all these questions that i can't answer my job is to practice knotted locks and i'm doing that most of the time as i'm teaching consulting i'm creating relocking that's my job because i feel like i've answered your question with the th over a thousand posts i've answered your question you can see the evolution you can see the logic of why i choose 
to practice in this specific way where why i choose to support diyers why i'm passionate about touching your head and creating that maximum fullness and all of it is relationship based i'm a one-on-one -on -one private person and that's how i deliver my service so enjoy the posts that i share and if that's enough then i'm right for you if that's not enough then it isn't and you just sit on it and wait wait to see when the answer will come to you and if i'm not for you i'm not for you and obviously if i'm for you i'm ready i'm prepared i'm doing the work every day but what you see what i share is very much relationship based that's open to change you have to be open to change you have to come towards this service knotted locks as a grown adult independent thinker if you need your hands held if you need to be spoon fed and micromanaged you are going to struggle if you need to ask permission to try to do it a certain way to leave your hair for longer to try to knot it when wet or dry or when do well, all those questions that is going through your head once i introduce you to the knowledge what's supposed to happen it's supposed to kick in that actually if i applied this attitude as a full-grown adult to my hair previously i wouldn't be struggling with hair loss i wouldn't be in this situation i'm opening up your brain to become an independent thinker and how that works and happens is very different and diverse for each person i hope you're getting a deeper understanding of what i'm about it's hard to put it in a nutshell therefore i do all these mini little posts all these various different ways from visual imagery to just audible just so you get a whole sense of who i am and i hope you see the consistency and i hope this message reaches somebody in time for them to realize they can make a healthy change and they can have the maximum fullness they have been dreaming about thank you thank you for listening to this post i hope you have the best day ever take care of yourself bye